It's on a degree Why you feeling down? What's the problem? We just here to be free It don't feel like this something Bump into the radio With the head so cold as the moonlight Days pass by and now we playing by our own rules Chasing a sea with a kiss and there's some great view Dancing in the parking lot, jamming to some old school We the kings of the city All the lights look pretty We bad boys like daddy We in the club like Fetty Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's great to see you. Today, we're going to be doing a campus tour of my university where I've come for the last upcoming four years as a communications media student, uh, NJIT. And this video is really for, or aimed for freshmen coming in or even transfer students just trying to get an idea of the campus, the environment, the atmosphere, what's to do, what's to eat. Hopefully I can cover all that today. Although NJIT is a medium-sized school, it still has a bunch of buildings on campus and it's probably not possible to include all of them in just one video. It would be like a 30-minute video and I definitely don't want to edit that. So we're going to be going over the most popular buildings and if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to include it in a future video and hopefully help you guys there. All right, so let's start this tour with one of the newer buildings here on campus, the Wellness and Event Center. Uh, here, we just call it the WEC, but it's this really new clean cut building that houses all of our sports teams. On the upper level, there's a fitness center. As you can see, it's a moderately sized gym with a bunch of cardio equipment, weightlifting equipment, free weights, all that stuff. In my honest opinion, um, I go here a bit, but the gym itself can get a bit cramped and it can get pretty busy during rush hours. So for the most part, it's like uh, a college Planet Fitness, to be honest. Right next to the fitness center is our D1 basketball team's court. Uh, when it's not being used by the team for practice, you can actually go down and shoot around. That's usually what I do for uh, just for fun, either with friends or just to do it for cardio. Uh, and because this is social media, I'm not going to show you any that I missed. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, so also on this floor, we have an indoor track, Olympic sized pool and racquetball or squash courts. Yeah, so overall as a building, it's pretty solid. My only complaints would be the fitness center is a bit limited in space and equipment, but you know what? Um, the atmosphere is really clean and sleek, so it's a, it's a give and take. So this is the WEC. All right, moving right along, we have the Central King building. Fun fact, this building used to be a high school that NJIT acquired a few years ago. Um, when I came in, it was under construction. Now it's one of the best looking buildings on campus. I'm sure if you ask anybody, uh, they'll tell you that. When you walk in, you'll immediately see a large study area up and even downstairs. Also, there's a bunch of these breakout conference rooms that you can rent out for hours at a time, which are really perfect for group projects and study sessions and uh, things like that. CKB lecture halls are not cramped at all. They have plenty of space and overall CKB is just like the nicest looking building on campus and one that you're likely to spend a lot of time as an NJIT student. Next up is the Campus Center. Chances are if you're part of a club, organization, or just want to socialize on campus that you're going to find yourself here. On the bottom floor we have a game room which has pool, ping pong, video games, uh, bowling as well. And the first floor, the ground floor, is mostly food options. There's Taco Bell, there's uh, make your own sandwich, there's a cafe, there's pizza. Uh, there's this little mini convenience store which is really uh, convenient. <laughs> also. Uh, there is the dining hall, otherwise known as GDS. This is where usually if you have a meal plan and if you're a resident, you'll go here for your meals. To be completely transparent with you, I don't really frequent this location. But what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to link in the upper right hand corner a video that NJIT made going over what all the options in there are. 
The second floor is uh, pretty much study locations and seating again, so we're going to skip that and go to the third floor, which houses our Highlander pub. Also, there's a outdoor garden. On the fourth floor, um, it holds most of our bigger clubs, the school newspaper, the student activity council. Uh, if you're around or interested in any of the clubs, just knock on the door and a friendly face will definitely uh, greet you. Right next to the campus center is the library. And again, if I'm being completely honest, I usually just come here to use the printers uh, for free. Usually five minutes before class starts uh, because I am like that. Uh, the building is like any other library you've been at. It's a great place to be to yourself, get uh, work done in peace. The bottom floor is really quiet and a great place for like uh, working when finals come around. Overall, it's just your typical library. All right, so really quick, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's going to be pretty hard to, you know, hit every single building on campus. So to cap off this campus tour, I thought I would give a lightning round of important buildings you should know about if you're an NGIT student. All right, there you have it. The NJIT campus tour has come to a close. Once again, that was the most popular buildings on campus. If you have any questions whatsoever about a building, a building that I missed, an amenity, a service, anything like that, anything campus related, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer you. Stick around for more NJIT and college content. Thank you for watching.